goodness. All right. Welcome back. Kicked off. Here we, we go. Yeah, I got the whole jug. <laughs> we'll always have a good time when this lady shows up. Chef Kay comes to visit us. She drove from Williamsburg to be with us today, and we are ready. And now I have a jug. The bluegrass folks are done. I know, right? <laughs> He's going to keep playing along. You're going to keep you tuning go. on that one. Yeah. One pot wonders and crock pot cooking are my That's favorite right. ways to prepare food, especially in the winter. I'm not letting this one go. Chef Kay's hearty Irish stew is on the Virginia This Morning menu this morning. It is great to see you. Good to see you guys. You came so up we're... from Williamsburg. Did yes. you come right from Brass yeah. Cannon? Uh, no, you know, I didn't do that. But So the Brass Cannon. Yes, the Brass Cannon Brewery. The Stout. A, a this stout. is a, a smooth bore stout. They actually wow. are, the, this year in the Virginia Beer Cup, they got the gold medal. Oh. They're sending the Irish oh. owls, owls and stouts. So the Scottish and Irish uh, stouts, all of that. So they kick it. They're in Williamsburg, and we're going to make this lovely Irish stew with their, I like cooking with beer. Mm -hmm. I like drinking beer. Mm -hmm. I like cooking with mm -hmm. beer. You know, drinking so and cooking. I, I agree. Beer. So yeah. we're going to put the spices so in our minute. brown So wait a minute. So now tell us about the meat that's in there that you've got kind of going already. Yep. I'm brown is, is on all steak? the sides. That is basically a chuck roast that okay, I've cut into roast. pieces. Yep. Okay. We've got a little seasoned salt, a little bit of garlic powder. And a little bit of just like a herb mix. I call it my Chef K Anyway Spice Blend. Chef We're soon K to be available anyway. online. Ooh. You can purchase. Hey There's all kinds of different spices in there. We're yeah. going to do that. And we're, we've got the meat browning, as you can see. And we're going to throw in a little flour here. I'm grabbing my beer before you drink. No, that's okay. Here, right? that's and, right. and look at this. You remember my sprinkling of the flour, the K hack? Oh, yeah. Now you actually can buy it that way. Isn't that cool? You know, know what? They saw Chef K. They I know. Did. They're sure like, oh, they we got to make that. that. Yeah, they're like, yeah. she's on to something. <laughs> yeah. So instead of hashtag uh, K cut, we got to, or K hack, we got to figure out where hashtag K cut of right. that creation exactly. is coming from, right? right? So we're getting the bits in there and it's browning and here comes the smooth bore stout. So, so here it is as you're familiar seeing it right. and then now you get to see its interpretation in the recipe. Right, so we're actually gonna put this in. What the stout does, there's a difference, you know, the ales and the stouts. The stouts have that really like dark, the chocolatey, the coffee kind of flavors. Mm -hmm. All of that dark fermentation that they've got going in there with the malted caramel malt. Yeah, there you go. And so the Brass Cannon is really a great bunch of guys, and while we're letting this meat kind of deglaze, while the pan, we're gonna throw the veggies in in a minute, and I'll tell you a little bit about these guys. These guys were like, hey, we like to drink beer, we like to make beer, let's do it. And they got together and created a bunch of different ones. They have eight beers on tap in the room there. It's a great little tap room. Um, one of the guys, the carpenter, did some beautiful woodwork and all that in there. You can go in there, you can hang out. Sarah runs the front room. Eight beers on tap, try, taste each different one, take a growler home or your favorite. There's games, like, you know, video games are fun, but they go back into like the board games like Scrabble mm -hmm, and all that. Mm -hmm. So they have them set there and all that, so you can do that. Now so we're Scrabble gonna get after a veggies. few stouts gets interesting. I know, right? I think yeah. so, yeah. So that, how much, how much onion is that? That is about a half to one large onion you okay. can do either you just one. Just use a basic yep. white onion? Yep, and then okay. some garlic. A little garlic And I like to too. throw a little parsnip in here, so we're getting like our root veggies in there. That's great. Parsnips are a fun addition. Get a little more fire on there. Now, we... what does a parsnip taste like um, raw? Um, well, here you go. All right, now wait a minute. Out. I asked somebody about <laughs> you ginger. Best now you have that. I asked ginger uh, not too long ago, and somebody, so I think it, it was like you, let me, let me chase ginger, and I put, and it took me the rest of the day to recover. Okay, well, no, it won't be that bad. It's not spicy. So, no, it's not, not spicy like that. Mm -mm. We got some celery that we're adding while he's trying the parsnip there. What do you, how would you best describe that, bud? You don't know. <laughs> I don't like it, some carrot, <laughs> some potato. Yeah. And we're just gonna, and once again, now you don't have to brown the meat like I did, because you could throw all this in the crock pot. Because we've had this conversation, Chef right. Kay. You know, I feel like if I'm putting it in the crock pot and making it easy, why do I have to take the time to brown it? Right, and then we're gonna throw in our beef broth. And if you do brown it, what it does is it kind of seals the juices yeah, in your meat. Yeah. I know. But it, so it does work better. Get your seasoning on there and brown it. And then you're going to get all of that beef broth in there. And I do just a little bit of tomato juice in there. Tomato juice? Yeah. Yeah. Right, now, now that let me adds ask a, a question because too. even before you put the veggies and everything in, mm -hmm. that brass cannon yep. and the meat was already getting a little brothy in yeah. there. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what so you want, yeah, right, because yeah. what I was doing is when I first pour in the little bit of stout, then I deglaze the pan with the meat and everything there. That's going to also, with the flour, thicken it up a little bit. Yeah, it's then, Yeah, so then we start putting, we've got all our seasonings in there. You guys can kind of see how this is beautiful anyway. And I put the mushrooms in now 
But what you want to do is, especially if you do it in a crock pot, add your mushrooms about 30 minutes out so they don't just turn to nothing. Right, on they'll you. disappear. Right, so you see how, look at that, nice, right? So that just simmers? Just simmers. simmers. And while you're doing that, then you're tasting your brass can and brewing bears. Uh -huh. Brass can and brewing bears. <laughs> you're simmering yeah. yourself. You can find them. Bill, you earned this one for okay. tasting that parsnip, right? Look, you want right? to try a little taste here? They yeah. also, at Brass Can, and they have my Chef K's Fire in the Bowl. Remember mm -hmm. that one? Yes. You did on the show? Fire in the Bowl! Fire in the Bowl! Ah! So it's like you're having a, a dining experience with Chef K. Absolutely. Because you, you might find me there sometimes. So if not, just tell him I sent you. Yes, Look at how there sweet you guys that get is. to taste. And that's what it looks like cooked down. Absolutely. Okay. Now you gotta try a, a, a taste of that okay. and then try the brass can and stout, the smooth bar stout with it. And just let it sip as you, you know, sip it as you swallow this stew. You're gonna get a big chunk so of meat. So, Chef here. K, if I'm doing this, it's starting to simmer there. Mm -hmm. How long do we let it go on the stovetop? You want to go like a couple of hours. You mm -hmm. want to, you know, you want this to really blend on a low harmonize. simmer. Everything's talking to each other there and mm -hmm. going, oh my gosh, high parsnip, high potato. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's what gonna be thinking? great. Later. I think they fell in love. I know, right? No. You're about to, you're about right. to finish. So Try I have to a question. That. Mm -hmm. I didn't see anything. Mm. Spicy, but this has got a little kick to it. What did you put? Is that the all the way Chef K spicy? A little you bit, yeah. yeah. I got a little zing zing in there. Mm. <laughs> now, there you go. Now, let's mm. sip with it. Got to try a little sip with it. I'm still chewing. Okay. <laughs> that is awesome, Chef K. Yeah, and so you'll actually, now you, when you do do that sip, you feel how that kind of comes back there. Mm -hmm. and you, you've got the beer in here and the beer that they're you're tasting with it. They're reintroducing it. Absolutely. Yeah, now they're Absolutely. getting familiar. I like yeah. it. If it went in the crock pot mm -hmm. low for. Six? Probably about six, yeah. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna take a little sipper. I'm gonna have a little sipper. Oh, she sip. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. There's right. yours. <laughs> we drank out of the. Oh, good. There is one for Yay, champagne. Cheers. cheers. To Brass Cheers Canterbury. to you. They're great. Thank you, you guys. Gotta come Appreciate down it. and hang out. It's a lot of fun. Play the game Check it out. out. WTBR.com/slash/vtm is where you will find. This delicious <laughs> recipe by 2 p.m. today. <laughs> you say that's my problem.